Oh no, a niche. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior oh, necessary. Bad. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Toyota. Let's go places. The higher your skill level and the lower the cost of the effort points. Brush your skills by using the character tab, okay? And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mate. Hmm? Okay. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Oh, I can... Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please, I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. <laughs> There's still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. My highest win rate. Stop sucking, nerd. You can play against good people. Higher ranked than you? It should be. Ah. Okay. It is well, indeed your hand handkerchief, hand mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Can I go over here? Body spray. Go away, go. Hell yeah. Eat, eat. What is this? Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Are you serious? Somebody replaced it recently, but looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Ah, shit! Ah, it's not coming up. 
I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Get it open barehanded. Damn it, I need need to hire some more work. Does she even know what a peon is? I think a pe I think peons are older than her. First, make your garrison. There's a bunch of peons chopping wood. Wug wug. Frame rate can't. <laughs> Let me see. I don't have a stream open, do I? I only have one tab here. Yeah. You don't open this, I swear to God. There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. Barrel's been broken for quite some time. No, no, no. A Latin inscription. An nesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. How should no Latin? It's France in the 1700s. Way I'm leaving without finding out about mother. <laughs> what more could I find? I ain't strong enough to rip that open, fam. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Take it. This might just come in handy. Can I examine the handkerchief? Still, still stuck in the forties. Tone it up to at least two thousand. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. What? The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Did they murder her? 
where where are you storing that book? You got a fanny pack? Do they exist in 1700s? I don't think so. Find any chips in your inventory that have been used. Okay. Let's look inside the bag. Oh, I can take a poop. Oh god, I'll be back in a minute. Jesus. It's rocking me like a hurricane over here.
little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. If you can ramp before turn five and keep him suppressed from getting Warlords out, then you win that matchup. Bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Yeah, he has his he has his uh Cuban shit in his hand. Oh good. That's that's don't be in. And you, you Shit! Once, Those are definitely my mother's it. things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. But what does all this mean? Six, five. Did you play the card first? Some fruit, and you went first, a piece and you of get bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. An iron key completely rusted. You're damn right. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. Hundred gold, yeah. Crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. anything to do with you mother but if it does at least now you're armed just like in my vision and none of it's telling me anything useful you don't care either hmm this wharf was like used as storage for a lot of barrels uh-huh what have we here it's cannon powder It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly too. Mm -hmm. I'm not too relevant in the current meta. Hunter's kind of like. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, Hunter is not really too good. Amber. Only to yeah, oh, like the only thing Hunter can really do is beat is a uh, beat a Zulak before it comes out with like a face hunter. I beat Tempo Mage and Zulak, but Merlock Paladin and Odd and even Paladin kind of handle that better. rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Let's see what's hidden inside. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I'd recognize oh, your handwriting be, anywhere, uh... Mother. But oh, who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So, 
Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Godoy. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? I'm guessing he's a man of some importance, Spanish, I'd say, but just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of a wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd, so very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I ought to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least the lantern. Nothing special. Cougars. Cougars, my hoogers. Great. Honey. Oh, I have four things to restore my EP. <laughs> I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. No, no. So thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. By the way, your eminence, 
I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Not everything. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and secrecy are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Only you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, <laughs> absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? The last step we must convince the person you are talking to like him. If a bad answer to step would be it's up to you to either give him the right one or the one who was. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Vinci. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man. You can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a 
biography of the great men. just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President what? of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? <laughs> at the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. 
No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you though, me, you didn't tell I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, no, okay, good. and we'll take a moment to up. speak about her. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit, that's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, We'll be able to speak about my mother, but on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Do I stay and listen to Washington or do I go with this guy to talk about? Fight. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry, 
Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Yep. When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia, 15 years ago. Sarah often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? <laughs> Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. I wonder if Mother is still on the island. Could she not have taken a boat and left? I don't see how. No vessel can moor closer than 200 yards. Not to mention the permanent presence of staff and servants. There is one strange thing, I grant you. This island is barely the size of Delaware, and despite that, no one has been able to locate your mother. So my mother still must be on the island. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. <laughs> well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? 
Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. No, I have to like must be exhausted. Take something the servant like will accompany you to your room. John Adams' kid. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, yes. Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay. So Jacques Peru. Jacques Peru. Oh shit. The white boy got some money. Whoever owns this place got some money. The quorum guy. No, I'm in the like French house. Sir Johann van Vuln there. President George Washington. Oh, nope. Sorry, George. 
Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Huh, that's me. Duke Manuel Godoy. The cute and the name, the title, not the fucking idea about it. Right. So, what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Biagi's trust. What should I do? Of course I can't do that. Uh, do, I be do I betray the trust of the Cardinal? And look at the letter. Do I really want to? I'm supposed to go to my mother. I'm supposed to go to my mother. And she's missing. Yeah. Her blood. It's okay. Fine. Let's see what it contains. Too bad for Piaggi. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. But now it's opened. I better get it to mother soon. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. What is his art? Oh, I'll keep Louise. Probably. Okay. Carmelite water will give me a little reprieve. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented himself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. What a joint. That's a feather. Okay. Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran.
me. Ah, bad photo. Mm -hmm. And choose what to. Oh, which manuscript you use to search. Okay, two books. Hmm. Ah. Your turn. The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Yeah. Louis grows impatient like not yet persona. having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, what a pity Thank to lose a knight at the start of the game. Okay. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. Napoleon? I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Frame rate. Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. <laughs> a very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Coming.
Dear Monsieur de Richer, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that. You have to wait, homie. I ain't get a chance to loot my, uh, my room. In the least, is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. I think helping. Yeah, help. Go after. Go search about the vision. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I'd better hurry. My son, oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe a Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. Like a couple of I'd ass. say he's a member of the French oh, Revolutionary yeah. Government. You should do something, my son. Damn, but... <sighs> Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Who do you think you are? Forget Thanks for that hint. That's so helpful right now. If you were to that. Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh. I step in. Adams might just run back uh -uh. to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh -huh. suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You filthy whore! I apologize, have mercy. Oh no, I don't want to be immoral. No! Please have mercy. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. no! Uh -huh. 
I apologize. No, no, no. Mercy, have mercy. No, no, no. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll teach you a little respect. No. Huh? No. Oh, Look, you huh? dumbass. Are you deaf? She said she was sorry. Call me that again. Leave her alone. Are you looking for a slap, Sonny? Let's fight. Now. Get scuffed. Washington must have finished by now. Well, did you get time to search the room? Yes, I found out many things. Good. Did Elizabeth give you any trouble? Elizabeth? No. Well, you could have mentioned she was with a raving maniac, huh? What do you mean? She was with a Frenchman. He was about to beat her when I arrived. What the devil are you talking about? I thought he was going to kill the poor girl. Did you intervene? I did what was necessary to give you enough time to search her room. Good work, my friend. I knew that I could count on you. So tell me, did you find any information? Email, email. Oh, yes. What I found is likely to upset you. What do you mean by that? Elizabeth is indeed the daughter of John Adams. Why pass her off as dead? I found her medical file. It appears that for many years, your mother was her personal doctor. From what I read, she behaved more like a butcher than a doctor. What are you talking? I'm not a child. What's going on here? John believed that his daughter was possessed. He appealed to your mother to save her, but the treatment she inflicted on the poor child... My God. Look, stop beating around the bush. What exactly did she do to her? Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? My mother got her hands dirty for the common good, so don't be too quick to judge her. For the common good? We're talking about the vivisection of a child, of tattooing her from head to foot with a red hostile. Stop, stop this. For her fifth birthday, she inflicted the stigmata of Christ on her. And for her tenth birthday, a hysterectomy. What kind of gift is that My for a child? My mother is not a monster. I do not doubt that your mother meant well, but the techniques described in the file, it, it is pure torture. Please, I need some time alone. I have seen some horrors in my time. But if what is written in these damned documents is true, be brave, my boy. Duke Manuel Godoy. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? It could have been worse. Let's say that Miss Adams will remember it for a couple of days. What? Did you not intervene? Of course not. What did you want me to do? That thug could have snapped me in half in two seconds. 
So, you prefer to let that fragile young lady take a beating rather than risk getting slapped around a bit yourself? Mr. Derice, your mother would not have been proud of you. Listen, next time it happens, join me instead of hiding behind the door. If you're gonna talk you big, go. back it up. You should be ashamed. I will pray for your soul, my son. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter oh, on shit. you? The one I gave you? No. Now? Why no. do you ask? No. I have a name to add to it. Tell me. Damn it. Here, here it is. You opened it. Don't worry about that, Your Eminence. You gave me your word, before God! I can assure you that my mother and I share everything. That's enough! Your word is worthless. I give your mother this letter myself. Fuck the church. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. My room, I don't remember. What's back here? Oh, it's back here. All the way in, back out. Whew. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. Well, I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Do you have a talisman in there? God damn it. All right. In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind.
honey. I couldn't have hoped for better. Nothing. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. No, no, not the cases. Writing material. I see no inks ever been used on this quill. The smell reminds me of something. Lavender and it smells like linen. That's odd. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Someone's picked some lemons. I'd be surprised if my mother didn't help herself to a few. She was always going on about the surprising properties of lemons. This room looks unoccupied. on the floor. Uh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World. The travel log of the explorer, Louis-Antoine de Bougainville. Uh -huh. One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Come on, Louis, think. Think. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. The quill has been used, but not with regular ink. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a lemon to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message?
There's a circle around the lock here. It must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. There's a note. Effects of Sarah de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Damn, I'm making a serious mess here. <clears throat> it's no good. It might have worked if the writing had left marks in the paper, but no, there's only traces of lemon. Luckily, I've only put ash on part of the message. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Nothing. Really? Might really be helpful. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. I'd be real mad if I burned this. Aha! It's working! The heat reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. Damn! The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. Great. I hope it wasn't a unique addition or mother's gonna kill me. 
Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Take a different stairway. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Subterfuges is so good, apparently. I shouldn't have put the unborn about. Uh, I have so many opportunities to use subterfuges. Sir Jacques Perru? And science. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. I'm... I'm sorry. I should have stopped him from beating you. What's done is done. It was my fault, not yours. Don't say that. It's never the victim's fault. Look at your eye. My eye's nothing. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing. <laughs> so I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. I'll slap you. Really? Yes. I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. And next, you're gonna tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait, there must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've, I've gotta go. Wait. I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? Shit. There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? You're right, I... I don't want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. You've suffered enough already, I... 
I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Well, thank you. Wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Your mother, for example. You mean the woman who left me in the hands of your mother? The woman whose duty it was to give up her life to protect me? I disowned my mother when I turned 13. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have mentioned her. Take your father. I'm sure he tried everything to save you. Sure, he tried everything to keep me from upsetting his political affairs. Once I was declared insane, I was nothing but a burden that got in the way of his career. By leaving me with your mother, he made all the horrors possible. I've got nothing more to say to you. Figure it out yourself. Damn it. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that sir would like to know? As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir. But I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps, sir, uh, would like to know something else? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. 
from the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. But Sir may be reassured, the building is accessible on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, Sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir uh, another question? Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, sir. In the west wing on the second floor are his private chambers. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend, sir, a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. I ain't got none in it. My good fellow, would you have any amber? Available? I would, but unfortunately, I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. That you are. Every day is a special day at Holiday Inn. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently, and he sends no one to meet me? And you, sir? Oh, Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the Please King's table. I am delighted. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. 
If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. <laughs> Such complexity. <laughs> Typically French. The Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this is not he Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. <laughs> would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. Is everything all right? Yes. Thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> what do you think of Volner? Many believe he is the real leader of Bouchon. A charming man, but with an iron fist and a velvet glove. I also know he's famous for his love of the hunt in all its forms. Please go ahead. Have you any information on this Napoleon? And you, sir. Please be Napoleon. What do you think, madam? What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution. And that it almost cost them their lives. Thank you, that's helpful. Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 louis d'or for 200 cannon. Absolutely. 50,000 louis d'or in hard cash. 
The offer I'm talking about was for only 20,000 louis d'or, Monsieur de Richet. The truth is, you really have no idea about our agreement. So, you're wasting my time. I need to work with people I can have confidence in, sir. The exact numbers may have escaped me. I suggest you wait for my mother's return in order to manage such details. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Let the people make their own choices. You are joking, I hope. The people are simply not capable of taking charge, don't you see? They are an uneducated mob who react on the spur of the moment. Incapable. Providing a coherent vision for the good of the country. I think there must be a misunderstanding. What do you mean? I cannot believe that Lord Mortimer advised me to speak to you. I must have misunderstood. Excuse me, please. <sighs> Bravo, Louis. Total fiasco. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> The last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. 
I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see. It's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand. But continue to have faith in Sarah. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library, continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Colonel Lightwater will give me a little reprieve. Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? The only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. He can't be here.
The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. This 
song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. A fragment of amber. Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning by his father upon Amber Crystal borrowing his chariot and losing control of it. Moral, the company by Rembrandt. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. Light water will give me a little reprieve. Celia, that name means nothing to me. Painting with no name. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. This hero is the only one holding a weapon. It seems obvious that he's the one whose job is to cut off her head. So, sword toward the Medusa. The 
statue is darker on the right hand side, it must be often placed towards the fire, which would explain the difference in color. In that case, it would be facing the Medusa. Perfect for the coup de gosse.